There you go. Ah! So your body is getting loose. <laughs> Kind of tight over here, you feel that? <laughs> okay, she needs to get adjusted bad. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna crack this much. Okay, there you go. Whoa. I felt that on my ribs. <laughs> that was pretty wild. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 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 Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. I did a, a Netflix uh, series uh -huh. where I had to ride a bicycle with high heel boots on. Uh huh. And we'll get to that. But um, once I put yeah. my it was a boot, it was a thick heel. It wasn't like a stiletto, yeah. and that's happened. Uh huh. So I, I landed it. a put and I sprained it, and then they try to fix it. They used light and everything, but. Uh -huh. Every time I step into a shoe that's about the same height as that yeah. shoe was, uh -huh. I have to like click. Somehow I have to. Oh, <laughs> I have to like. I have to like bend over my. It's weird. Why is your hand like right there? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Really? No. Okay. All right. She needs to get adjusted. Bad. No. <laughs> oh no! Are you serious? Okay. So I'm gonna have you lay down face up. Oh my god! I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna adjust your ribs. So reach over here. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Deep breath. Right now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay. Okay, just relax. We're adjusting every bone in your body. <laughs> okay, your ribs stabilize your shoulders. So reach over here. <laughs> this one's gonna feel interesting compared to a lot of different adjustments, but <laughs> I've needed that for so long. Oh my god. There's a lot of emotions coming out. <laughs> I wanna test you in the same position, so face that way. Let's see how strong your arms got. Strain this out. Push up as hard as you can. You notice that's way better than when you first did it. <laughs> I remember you're just not you don't even have your strength earlier. <laughs> She's never Wild. been able to. <laughs> Wild. Okay. okay. It's very it's like obvious that you got more you got more strength. What did you do? It was a spell. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to have fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so strap this arm. Push it as hard as you can. I just turn it off. Push it right here as hard as you can. <laughs> what yeah, the hell? <laughs> so your energy is. It's like right here, maybe even a little bit stressed out right here. I'm gonna touch this. You notice that's an off switch right there? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, she needs to get adjusted bad. Push it right here. All right, so let's adjust your ankles. So you rolled your ankle, right? Yeah. It was this one? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh my God, these are stuck. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. There you go. So I'm just tearing up all the tissue in here so this can actually heal. It's much stronger now, right? How did the ankles have anything to do with the strength of my whole leg? So your whole body is connected. So if your foot's not working, your body's gonna help you walk by putting the pressure somewhere else. So you can get knee pain if you like rolled your ankle or if it's glued. Yeah. And if your feet get flat. So when you're walking, you can get knee pain or hip pain. So it's all connected. So all the muscles are attached to each other. Like they all connect together. Okay, we gotta open that up. Okay, so face me on this side. What do you mean? So go on your side, facing me. Okay, perfect. All right, you ready for this? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's so good. Wow, you knew that. I'm just <laughs> Well, I wonder why your hip was killing <laughs> Okay, cool, yeah? Okay. What's sure. next? Okay. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, oh!
<laughs> What's next? Okay, like, she's like, okay, just keep giving me everything. Just keep going, just keep going. You can do whatever you want. Okay, got it. <laughs> just take advantage of my neck. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, straighten out this arm. Push up it as hard as you can here. So we're gonna check your, your emotions at the end. Wow. We're gonna muscle test it. I can just ask you some questions. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna give you a hug. Okay. Deep breath. Let it out. Ah! <laughs> That's how I get deaf. That's good. Oh, <laughs> mommy. Whoa. I felt that in my ribs. Yeah, you were stuck like this. <laughs> okay. Powerful. Powerful. All right. Okay, you're letting all these emotions out. See what's going on here. You want to get a TMJ treatment? I'm not quite sure what I'm agreeing to, but yes. All right. Let me get my gloves. All right. So open your mouth. Okay. So we're gonna go over here. It might be painful. Okay. There you go. Okay. Two more. Oh. There you go. You need maintenance for this, you know. <laughs> what was that? That was, uh, it's called your internal pterygoid muscle. It's I can feel like the circulation go back into my... Wow. Wow. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Did that hurt? Mm, it's powerful even though it's like uncomfortable in the beginning. Yeah. Like the, the feeling you get when it sets in is so good. Wow, okay. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Open your mouth. I'm just gonna press this out. You feel these tight muscles? And close it. Open your mouth. And close it. Open your mouth. Okay, we're gonna see right here. And if you teeth clench at night, that can cause jaw issues. And that's usually from emotional stuff. Not too bad over there. So it's mainly like right here. So there's not too bad. But it's gonna get maintenance so you don't get jaw pain in the future. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna snap my fingers. Can you look over here with your eyes over here? Push over here. Over here. Wow, that actually works really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You don't wanna be in pain. So just relax your arm. So that was a quick neurology test. But you need to get this adjusted and this adjusted. All right, you ready for this? No, but yes. All right, deep breath. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> really good emotions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. That was amazing. All right, so I'm gonna do a backflip. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, just right here. There's a lot of tension, right? Remember, your arm shut off when I touched this spot. Mm -hmm. That was an off switch. So we gotta adjust that. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, just lean your head over here. Okay. <laughs> Are you married? Because <laughs> <laughs> I can find another way to make this like consistent. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh my god, okay. this is hard. <laughs> oh. Just relax. Is that your favorite? Or is <laughs> Zen mode right now. That was powerful. Wow. I felt that everywhere, like here, everywhere. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're still proposing to me. <laughs> yeah, I'll marry you. <laughs> Very fast. Okay. This thing is. Okay. <laughs> I drove an hour and 10 minutes to make sure that this happens. So okay. This isn't a treatment, I'm just kidding, but um. <laughs> 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 All right. So let's have you scoot down a little bit. You might fly off. I just did push-ups earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so what must I do? Scoot down. Scoot down. Oh. Okay, perfect. Right there. Okay, okay lay, lay back, lean back. <laughs> All right. So, she's gonna be a little bit taller. So lift your head up. Here we go. All right. So just, just lay your head back. Okay. This feels okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna stretch you out a little bit. Okay, and just relax. And just drop your shoulders as best you can. All right, so here we go. Take a deep breath. <laughs> oh my god. Felt in your heart. <laughs> I'm scared to move. Like I don't want I don't want to ruin this feeling. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know you're talking about. I want to stay I wanted to stay like this forever. <laughs> Very dramatic. <laughs> Relax. Did you hear that? I couldn't hear it from here, but it looked right. You didn't. You didn't hear that? No, I couldn't hear it. From here. Well, there was a lot of screaming. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of screaming. Where did you feel it? Like neck, upper back. My upper back? back. It's like what I've been. I sometimes hang upside down on my couch. Yeah. Just to relieve my like. You're upside down, like trying to get comfortable. Literally, like my feet will be up on there, and then I'll just drop my head just. That was exactly the feeling I've been trying to achieve, uh -huh. but like a hundred times better. Oh yeah. I felt <laughs> like, <laughs> like the top half of my back. Mm. I just, I, I can't describe it actually. It, wow. Glad you feel better. <laughs> oh my god! I'm about to take over the world. <laughs> 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 I thought about my kids, I thought about, um, you know, my romantic life, I thought about a yeah. bunch of things and they were like, <clears throat> really started wondering why all the love I was imagining was from external yeah. places. Uh -huh. Then I w started wondering about self-love and then I was able to concentrate for a bit, then I got distracted again. Yeah. But I was able to figure out that the cornerstone to all the other love I want to my neck feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so much going on right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just everything else is the cornerstone of what is going to be love to me yeah. is self-love. Uh -huh. Without self-love, all the other branches or pillars of love are not going to make it. I think the foundation of love is self-love. <laughs> Let's check your energy perception. Remember it was over here? So I'm gonna ask your brain, what was your energy first came in? Just over here. Remember it's like right there? And then what's your energy right now? It just stays up, you notice? Just like this. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. Because like when you give someone a hug, you give them energy. So you get yeah. you give off energy. So how was your experience? Was it fun? <laughs> what do you mean? It was incredible. Like I was I sc I screamed. Oh god. That was pretty wild. You know when you pulled? Yeah. And I don't know if the sound is also from is just from the shock of like what the hell is happening. <laughs> yeah. But I think a lot of it is like I literally it's almost like I had a, my mind's eye, and I could see my in, like I was inside my spine, and I 
I know. Because my eyes were closed. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I know about. you're talking about. I feel that same way. <laughs> like, I, it felt like I'm, I could see in my spine and I just saw it. And um, it was like a brief break away from, not a brief, but like for a brief moment I felt like that release and then it's like I settled into this new reality that I don't have to carry all that stuff. Yeah. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, we're here. Okay, so we have a special guest. You're a singer, a martial artist. What else do you do? You're so, a dancer? <laughs> I'm Alexandra Almendarez, actress, singer, salsa dancer, and I'm excited for my first session. Perfect. And um, tell us some history, because we're going to work on everything today. Yeah, so I've been dancing on and off for 10 years, singing for over 20 years, and I and I work in food service, so I'm always on my feet, so I'm looking to relieve some tension that I have. Okay, perfect. So, and then you had a cooling sensation back here too, right? Yes, yeah. I think whenever I turn my head a little too, too quickly, I feel like a cooling sensation, and I just kind of want to explore that and see what that's all about, and yeah. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> We've got your posture photos. So one of the main things is, we gotta correct her posture, we're gonna put her on blast. She actually looks like this, everybody. <laughs> and I thought I had good posture. Right? Awful posture. But she's gonna transform, so that's, we all know that's gonna happen. She's gonna get her posture back. Okay, so I'm just gonna check some things. And you have some tension over here, it's a lot of trigger points. And then let's have you turn your head to the left. Does it feel okay? Yeah. Turn to the right. And you have some good range of motion. Is there any discomfort? No. Okay, and then look forward. And I'm just gonna push it down on your head. Any pain? No. Okay, and I'm gonna go like this, tilt your head back. Any pain? Um, just pressure. A little bit of pressure, and you go forward. Any pain? No. Okay, so it seems like the, one of the main things is your posture, and then we gotta check your past history we were talking about earlier with the head trauma mm -hmm. and stuff. Okay, so let's see how your body's working. So straighten out your arm like this. And then push up as hard as you can. All right, that's all you got, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm just putting her on blast the whole video. I'm just gonna push it over here. Okay, so don't worry. This is not really a strength test. It's just testing if it's stabilizing or not. Because okay. your body's worn out. Because you, you work as a waitress and you do a million things. <laughs> All right, she's in for her first adjustment, so we're going in. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, reach over here. So we're gonna adjust your ribs. Okay. So take a deep breath. Let it out. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's melting off the table. I don't want to move. <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel okay? Yeah, I feel okay. good. Yeah. And then let's put your arm over here. And then reach over here. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. She has a lot of tension in there. Wow. <laughs> Feel good so far? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, stand out this arm and then push up as hard as you can. You notice there's power. Push up this. Let's check over here. Push up. You notice there's more power. It used to just fall down. Yeah. So straighten this arm out. And then don't try to bend it, okay? Push up. So strong. And I just turn it off. And then push up here. Strong. Turn it off. <laughs> so I can just stimulate the attachment and it'll just turn off. Okay. So I'm gonna explain what's going on and we're gonna go all out, okay? Okay. Because you can't be confused when you're healing. Okay, you've probably seen this before. This is your spine, you got your neck, your mid back and your low back, and you're supposed to have this curve in your neck like that. So what happens is your brain's up here and it recovers you daily through nerve impulses. So your brain's constantly recovering your body through nerves, it recovers all your muscles, organs, and tissue. But what happens is when you grow up, you get hit in the head with a coconut, you sit down too much, you dance a lot, your body gets worn out. So you start losing your posture so if you sit down and you're looking down at your phone, this is common, and then you get misaligned. And having trauma throughout your body gets you out of alignment. So you get all these muscle spasms. So this is kind of like 
how we all end up. <laughs> That's why we're all suffering right now. All right, so we're gonna back this up. All right, she's a dancer, so we gotta give her the full tune up. So bring a straight leg up over here, straight leg, and then push up right here. It's not working. She is doing too much talents. Push up right here. See, it's weak. <laughs> then she have this arm, push up. So it's strong, but these need a tune up. So we're gonna adjust your ankles. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> these are really stuck. <laughs> these dancers legs. Whoa. Whew. How's she walking? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She deserved that, she's a dancer. Okay, so bring a straight leg up over here and then push up right here. It's easier now, Whoa. right? Push up right here. Much better. Whoa. And I'm leaning into it more so you can kind of feel it. So just know that when you overuse your body, your joints glue together. That's why we're so tense. And that's what breaks down the joints. You get arthritis and degeneration if there's no fluid nutrition in the joint. When it's glued, it gets dry. There's a lot of emotions in here. Strand this out. I'm gonna touch right here, push up. This arm, push up. It just turns off, you notice? Yeah. So your adrenals are overworking, it seems. So it might be doing a lot. <laughs> and then strain this arm out, push up right here. And then up here, it turns off. Whoa. So, so this is a stress test. Okay. <laughs> so your body perceives everything, your brain. Mm -hmm. But when I touch something that's inflamed or out of alignment, it will just turn off any muscle test. So strain out this arm. So push up right here, strong. And then weak, you know? <laughs> what is happening? It's magic. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna use this test to kind of figure out what, what's causing everything. So we're gonna do um, a blood compression test. So we're gonna just have you go like this. This is gonna check your vessels and then straighten out this arm and then push up. This is dead weak. So just wait a little bit. So we're gonna see how your body feels in a little bit when your blood flow comes back. Straighten this arm out and do not bend this elbow, straighten out, push up. So it's strong. And then when you do this, it gets weak. So try it again. And then straighten out this arm all the way, push up. And it just turns off. <laughs> I, every time I'm surprised. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's me surprised the whole visit. Yeah. So um, so far it seems like you're not you're getting a lack of blood flow, and it could be from um, your posture. So we need to correct that so you can get more blood flow through your whole body so you don't get any weird sensations. And we can check for nerve compression, so you're just gonna go like this really fast. Okay. Just go like that. And then strain this out, push up. So that's okay, but when you do this, it gets really weak. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna work on, one of the main goals is your posture, so you get more blood flow. And you need to take omega-3. That helps with blood flow in the vessels. So strain out this arm, push up right here. Right there. <laughs> so straighten up this, I mean, uh, hug yourself. All right, she needs a hug. Been a while. Deep breath, let it out. Whoa. <laughs> Not surprised at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking the whole time. Okay, she just hasn't had a hug in a while, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see. So your pelvis. Feels okay. Actually, it's kind of tight over here. You feel that? Yeah. So your psoas muscle is really tight. So that's what's causing your pelvic tilt. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes it look like this look that the girls want, but <laughs> you don't need it too much. <laughs> so we gotta make sure um, your pelvis is like this, and then you gotta get the gains on this. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes sense because I do that when I salsa dance because uh -huh. they it's not like ballet where it's like yeah. all lined up. They want that curve, but uh -huh. there has to be a happy balance because no one, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change that. Okay, so. so at the end of this, I'm gonna teach you what your easy homework is, and it's gonna help get your posture back. So for here, bring the straight leg up. Turn your foot out and then push up right here. Dead weak, you notice? And that's because this muscle is so tight. This is what pulls your pelvis forward and it actually deactivates your glutes. So it doesn't make it 100%. When you start releasing this and you work out your glutes, it will develop your glutes better. 
So we're gonna release right here. And breathe. Breathe. This is the secret to a tight low back, is right here. Almost done. It's fine. Okay. And then turn your foot out. And then keep this up, push up right here. You notice I barely pressed into it, it got stronger. So if you start releasing it throughout the week, you'll get really good results. Like your back won't be as tight and you can retrain this like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna release this for you because I already know it's tight. So when you release your muscles and then you're getting your joints adjusted, it will correct your posture faster. Okay, breathe. Almost done. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna check your pelvis. So you're just gonna place your hand right here. Push up with this arm over here. Okay, I know it's interesting. <laughs> Stand this out. Push up right here. And then when you touch right here, it kind of turns off. Wow. So that's your pubic bone. So you're just gonna bend your knees, bend both of them, and you're gonna push your knees in as hard as you can. There you go. Woo! <laughs> She's like, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it cracked, but yeah. So what that does is um, open this up. So what happens is when you're dancing a lot or you're sitting a lot, that pubic bone gets glued together and it kind of overlaps each other. So it kind of pulls all the muscles that are attached with it. So we just have to open it up a little bit over time. And then strand this out. You know, press right here, push up. Much stronger, you notice? Yeah. So there's a lot of nerves and neurology in the joint. So that's why when you get something adjusted, you get stronger. It's making the nerves work better. Let's see what's going on. It feels okay? Yeah. All right, I got the power tools. We gotta get her right. Is that okay right here? Yeah. Let me know if it feels like a painful woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> so your pelvis is kind of like that. So it's making your body tight. So we're gonna adjust your sacrum right here. So face me on this side. All right, here we go. Got your pelvis adjusted, you ready? Okay. And then bend this top leg right here. Okay, come close to my ear. Okay. There we go, right here. <laughs> feels okay? Yeah, feels okay. good. And then uh, fix me over here. Okay. Okay. Strain out this bottom leg. Okay, come close to me right here. And we're gonna pull this right here. And you're gonna come close to me. Forward. Yes, perfect. All right. We're gonna just see right here. <laughs> a bag of bones. Yeah, she's a bag of bones. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's have you lay down face up. Okay. Um, lay down face up. Okay. Yes. All right, so how are you feeling so far? Good. Feeling good? Yeah. Okay. And you're saying you have a problem with your sternum? Yeah. And I noticed in the hallway, I was looking mm. at the mirror, that yeah. my shoulders are like that. Mm. Surprised I never noticed that. Okay, so we're gonna work on that. She has a shoulder lane. <laughs> yeah. Clavicles. Okay. Straighten out this arm. Push up right here. Got it. Okay, so just relax. Feels okay? Yeah. So this is a, a light adjustment for your sternum. It needs minimal movement, so that's why we're using this. I'm not gonna take your heart out. <laughs> it's a little funky, but yeah. it's okay. Okay, that's good. Let's turn out this arm. 
and then right here, push up. And it's stronger, you notice? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's painful? Yeah. So you have really tight packs. Okay, so we're just gonna release this. So when you start releasing this, I'm gonna teach you. It's gonna help you get your posture back faster. Okay. This usually gets caused if you hunch forward since like school and then just stays like that until you correct it. Mm. So that's why everyone's like, I haven't sat down since high school. And I was like, well, you made it from high school. <laughs> you left with something. Yeah. How's it feel? Is it painful? It was painful. My range of motion is like even less on that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can feel that your body's more tight on one side. Mm -hmm. And then, so you have head trauma. So we're gonna see, we're gonna do a neurology test. Okay. Seems like your nose is like, it's kind of clogged on one side, it looks like. Let's see. Do you have any breathing issues or anything? Uh, my nose is stuffy right now, stuffy. but I mean, it's just allergies. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so I think. We can check real quick. <laughs> so I can just touch right here, push up as hard as you can. Just turns off. Just turns off. So you have kind of pressure in your nose. We'll do a non-invasive adjustment for it. Okay. And then if it's really stuck in the Later in the future, you can get the balloon treatment if you want. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. So that's great for you know, sinus or nose is blocked or if you have past concussion. Okay. Any force will make this glue together. Okay. And then look over here with your eyes. Push up. Over here. Over here. It's strong. And that's a little bit weak, you notice? So that's a brain test. It tests okay. your balance. Okay. Okay. So we're going to adjust that a little bit. So we're going to use this. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use it on your nose. This is the first non-invasive treatment and the next one is the balloon usually. Okay. So we're right here. Mm -hmm. Is that painful? No. Okay. And then her nose changes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, new nose. She's like, what are you doing with my nose? <laughs> okay, right here. Okay, so are you ready for your neck adjustment? Yes. Okay, here we go. So we're waiting. Here we go. Right here and right here. Deep breath. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What is in there? <laughs> wow. No words. Sustain like this. Yeah. Deep breath, another one, deep breath, down. <gasps> wow. <laughs> scared of myself. <laughs> Whoa. Your head went upside down, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it just went all the way around, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my God. And that was your skull, that's why I had more cracks. So I adjusted up here, so like, this is what I was out of alignment, it was like, kind of like that. So that's why I kind of felt kind of different. Yeah. I'm actually only pressing this hard. It's just like, that's yeah. cracks. You ever seen the wide strap before? Yes. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Okay, she's ready. I knew she needed that. I'm <laughs> ready. Okay, so we're gonna have you come down. Okay. Just flies off the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's been dying for this. <laughs> okay, so this decompresses your spine, okay? So lift your head up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna stretch you out. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Take a deep breath. <laughs> feel okay? Yeah. Where'd you feel it? Um, I don't know, it just kinda happened fast. Maybe like here? <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It's a little crack? intimidating, but yeah, it was, I didn't feel like the uh -huh. intense crack that I felt in the other one, but it still felt good. Okay. 
He must be like really blocked over here. Let's see. Just relax your neck. Yeah, so you're really stuck, but that's gonna give you some benefit. Over time, when your body gets looser, the disc will open up even easier. So your body is getting loose. And then now we're gonna do, we're gonna do like an emotional test. Okay. So I'm just gonna say some words and your body will just, your arms will just shut off. So we're gonna use the other arm. So I'm just gonna say some words. I'll just guess it for you and we'll see. Push up as hard as you can. Okay, strand this out. Generosity, love, courage, kindness, faith, hope, faith, faith. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. So we're gonna see the other arm, we're gonna confirm it. Strand this out. Love, love, generosity, faith, faith, got it. What is happening? <laughs> this is the therapy session. Yeah, we do everything in here. Faith, strengthen your faith. Yeah. Whoa. So, this is a subconscious emotion. So it could be from the past or right now. So when I say that word faith, it kind of puts you in a, a fight or flight because it maybe your body has a reaction to something that's happening to you. So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna meditate on this laser. So we're gonna laser your brain while you're thinking about it. Okay. So come on up. So anytime you're in fight or flight for way too long, it turns off your new system and it makes you feel really slow. And you get this tense muscle tone. So we're gonna laser your brain. It, you won't feel any, well you might feel energy going into your body. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna close your eyes and we're gonna stimulate your vagus nerve as well. And that helps you get into rest and digest mode. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna draw an image of the word faith. Like understand, like why did my body turn off when you heard the word faith? and try to link it to something from the past or current and see why it's making you go on fight or flight. And then once you drew an image of it, you're gonna do positive affirmations, what you love about yourself and what, and what you love about life. When you do that, it reconstructs your brain and helps it recover. When you think toxic thoughts, it actually produces a waste in your brain. So that's why it's not good to do that. Okay, so relax time. And then when this beeps, you're done. Okay, so we're gonna muscle test it. This seems stimulated enough. Okay. So strain out this arm and strain it out a little bit. And then faith. Faith, 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 faith. So it works really good. Faith, 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 faith. I turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you can do for that is if you write in a journal, you could write that word and you can just reflect on the first things you think about it mm -hmm. and it re creates new pathways in your mind. Oh yeah, let's end the visit. So how was your visit so far? <laughs> it was great. Um, I cracked and I didn't think I was gonna crack this much and I feel like a weight has been lifted. Um, I feel happier, I feel more at ease. Um, really calm, because you gotta take a nap. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel really good. I'm happy I decided to come. I'm glad.